Hey everyone, I thought I'd show off the current state of the LEGO RCX replacement. This is a regular RCX 1.0 brick, except all of the guts have been pulled out, and instead there's a uh, an Arduino-based board in there, an Atmega 168. Um, there's a little Polulu uh, power thing hooked up to, so when I turn this on, it's going to turn the motor one direction, then the other direction, then turn itself off. So it's on going the other way, and off. The, uh, there's a, uh, a C class that I made, or a C++ class, that uh, lets you control all of the motor, all three motor outputs, all three uh, inputs, as well as the three LEDs, and power, and the tone generator. There is, um, the infrared port is actually still in there, I just have not um, had a chance to uh, figure out the protocol for it yet. Uh, one thing you'll notice here is that I've got this extra 9 volt battery pack here. That's for the uh, to drive the motors. There's uh, uh, four double A's inside here that power the microcontroller, and then there's the 9 volt battery here that powers all of the motors. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much how it works. There's a uh, this is a um, FTDI connector so that you can reprogram it easily without having to uh, take it apart or anything. And here I'll, uh, I'll pop it open so you can see. You look on the bottom, here's the four AA batteries. Um, underneath here is the, uh, that's the programming header, right there, FTDI header. And uh, then we have uh, the power a little jumbled here, sorry about that. This is the uh, the power switch is in here. And underneath there you can see there is the, the new microcontroller. All kind of jammed in there. I, I used the space of two of the AA batteries to, uh, to hold it since it has a much higher profile than the original chips. And then that's powered off of the four AA batteries here. So that's basically it. Um, there's a... Uh, connectors here so that you can power things in different ways. Like there is a way to jumper this so that you can power the motors off of the internal batteries, but it doesn't, these just don't have enough juice to do both. So it works fine for about three and a half seconds and then the motors kind of conk out. But yeah, there we go. That's the uh, Lego. Lego Arduino RCX. Uh, thank you. Have a great day.